Hey, this is Neil in Studio B, our Foley room, uh, but we're going to be looking at this project from the Urban Legend project. So what I've got here, I've got a microphone and a pop filter set up, plugged in a pair of headphones, and I'm plugged into, in this case, channel 8 on the Snake, and I'm just using uh, one of the TRSNs, all four of these are connected so it doesn't matter which one you're plugged into. Let's go into the control room. I've got the top console, I can see that the VU lights are on so I know the console is on. I can see the lights are on for the multi-track and I can see the blue light on the headphone amp so I know those are on. Those are things that are really important I want to make sure I've got. So let's get my signal. So I'm using a condenser microphone so I'm going to turn on phantom power and bring up the preamp to just a good starting spot, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. And I'm going to bring up my fader and you can see I've got just a little bit of blinking light there so it probably means I can have some more gain and I'm going to come over here create my new song new song create new song new song number of tracks 8 there's my new song song 11 is me record enable you can see I've got metering there now let's hear it I'm going to turn my monitor up bring up my stereo master fader bring up my and there's my music Troubleshooting things that may happen. The monitor button, the mute button could be pressed. So you'll want to make sure that you look and you can see that's pressed. Make sure none of these are pressed. Notice none of these are engaged. Okay. Now let's set this to headphones. I'm going to use aux 5 and 6. Aux 5 and 6 to mon button. Bring this up. Come over to my aux masters, turn those up to about 75%, about 3 o'clock, and there should be signal in my headphones. My client out there can tell me where what they're hearing. This is the little remote control that goes with that in Studio B. You can see I've got stop, play, and record. So if I want to record, I hold record, hit play, and I can see that it's metering over there, and there is a solid... And that's lit up, so that's letting me know it's record. When I'm done, I can hit stop, and there's a locate zero, which will be take me back to the beginning, or I can just hit rewind, but it'll take me back to zero. And you can see it's taking me back to zero, or I can use the controls here. I can hit record, hit play, and you can see now they're both lit and it's metering, and it's going, and there's some noise going on outside. You can see with the little note here, mix A is TOF, mix B is Pro Tools. These can just sit at 12 o'clock in the middle and not need to be manipulated. So they're at 12 o'clock and then we just leave those volumes up and we'll control the headphone volumes through the aux masters on the analog. So if someone, someone wants less volume in the headphones, you can turn it down probably at the channel is probably the easiest way. When I'm done with the project, you can see it says I key and Pro Tools. Since we're always wanting to monitor downstream, when I'm ready to mix, I want to listen to the I key, and then I'll need to record the uh, enable the I key, which is down here. So you plug your flash drive in there, hit record, and you'll see the metering there, and you also have a uh, headphone amp. Uh, you can listen on that, and you can see that the power's on for that. So speakers should be on little power light lets me know that the speakers are on so that's good make sure those are on leave everything on when you're done you'll notice there's no patch cables that are required for this project the computer is not required for the project the computer monitor is not required for the project the windows are closed I don't need to open the windows so just some things that you want to work on when you're done zero the console and as a really good practice we just want to go backwards so I want to take this out I'm going to turn my headphones off. Master, aux 5 and 6 down, pre and post out. I'm going to go take my multi-track out. I'm going to turn my monitor level down, stereo master fader down, uh, control monitor volume, take that button out. And then I'm going to do my fader, and then my preamp, and then my phantom power. Now I'll go disconnect the microphone. So that's a really good practice as well. If you're having trouble, don't forget, you can call the stu text the studio managers and they can help you out also. Hang up your cables and headphones and pop filter there, put your microphones away, and return the key to the lockbox.